Today we are going to be doing a full face of Rare Beauty. If you did, I know that. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a full face of Rare Beauty. I put up a poll on my community tab asking which full face of makeup y'all would rather have. A full face of makeup I hate or a full face of Rare Beauty. And you might be confused because I did do a full face of makeup I hate like three days ago. But uh, Rare Beauty was winning. So I was going through my Rare Beauty stuff and I realized I didn't have everything I needed for this video. So I had to order it and it wasn't here yet and I wanted to film something so I just went ahead and filmed the full face of makeup I hate. But now we are finally doing a full face of Rare Beauty. Alright, I've laid all of my Rare Beauty products out right on my vanity and we're just going to go ahead and get started. Alright, first product, the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. They actually have two primers, the Luminous one which is like a glowy one and then this pore one I already own. A couple like luminous kind of glow with from in primers so I went with the pore one so this is the first step I should try this yesterday for the first time I love the consistency of this product it's got like a very different feel like it's not that wet or tacky or sticky or anything it's got almost like a putty like a liquidy putty feel to your hands and on your face too Alright, now we're going to go in with our Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I want Rare Beauty to come out with a foundation. I don't know if I'm like everybody else, but I really want a Rare Beauty foundation. They are coming out with a pressed powder though. I'm not sure when. It hasn't had a actual release date yet, but I'm really excited about that. This, as you can see, is too light for me. I bought this in January, I want to say. So, it's like my winter shade. But, it's okay. We'll just do a lot of bronzer. Alright, voila. Now we're going to go in with the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. I got mine in a shade too light, again, as you can see. And we're going to use our Rare Beauty Concealer Brush to blend it. Usually I mix this with the concealer. Not the Rare Beauty Concealer, but I mix it with a concealer. And it looks really good, but I never usually wear it on its own. So we'll see how this goes. Now we're going to go in with our Liquid Blush. We have two options to choose from. Um, this one in the shade Joy and then this one in the shade Happy. I used to love orange blush, but now I'm kind of more of a pink girl. But I'm kind of debating because as our blush topper, like our powder on top, I got the shade Joy of the Powder Mesmerize blush. So I think that would make more sense to do together. But... Actually, no. I think we're going to do the happy and then just do a light amount of this over top to kind of give it like a sunset kind of look on my cheeks. I don't know. That's just a theory. I don't ever really reach for these anymore and I probably need to. I just always go in with my Say or the Patrick Ta. What else do I usually reach for? I don't know. Between those two usually. Or sometimes I won't even wear blush and I just do a lot of bronzer. And sometimes I feel like just a lot of bronzer and a warm summer glow just looks good by itself without blush. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to go in. Now we're going to go in with our bronzer. So of course we're going to use the Rare Beauty bronzer stick in the shade always sunny i never reached for this because i got the wrong shade i got my shade way too dark but maybe it'll work today because i'm like pale because of the stuff i put on my face but underneath i'm really tan so maybe this will just warm everything up i do a little bit right here i know you're not supposed to but this is not the right brush you're supposed to use but i always use like i don't even know what this brush is called but just like a round 
kind of more firm brush to blend in cream bronzer. And I like to blend it into my blush because I don't like to have a dark area here and then be really, really pale up underneath my eye. Now I'm gonna add some of my powdered blush on top, if I can open this. Whoa, okay. I forgot how pigmented this was. Again, this is a product I never reach for. It's not really a bad product. I just don't really go for it that often. And I can see why people don't like it because it like, it can emphasize any type of pores or acne breakouts. I think the pink blush with the, I think the pink liquid blush with this uh, powdered blush actually looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Eyebrow Gel. I bought this uh, I want to say like a month ago, maybe over a month ago, and it's honestly pretty good. It doesn't flake in my brows, like you know, a lot of brow gels can do that, like flake and look white, but this one doesn't do that. It's a really good overall quality brow gel. It's just clear, it's nothing too fancy, but it also does its job. It holds my brows in place. Now we're gonna do highlighter. I have the liquid and the powder highlighter. Um, usually I tend to reach for the uh, powder, but I think what we're gonna do, try something a little different, because I don't have any of the eyeshadow palettes. We're gonna just do the liquid on my eyelids and then do the powder everywhere else. Get a little brush. All right, it just adds a little something to the eyelids. Now we're going to do the powdered one everywhere else. Well, not everywhere else, just everywhere else I would put highlighter. And then I see people do so much, like, on their cupid's bow. So we're just going to try that. It's really pretty. Now mascara. I don't think, I could be wrong, but I don't think Rare Beauty has a eyelash curler. I've never seen it, but if they have one, let me know. Alright, now we're going to go in with the Rare Beauty Mascara. I have mine in the mini size. I forgot just how long this makes your lashes look. Now we're going to do the other eye. Last but not least, lips. So I have three of the lip oils. As you can tell, I love these. And then one of the lipsticks. I thought I had another lip product from them in here but i could be wrong i think we're gonna do the lipstick and then put one of the lip oils over top i by the way love the packaging how you like do that and then pull it out this lipstick is in the shade lively by the way i think shade joy of the lip oil is gonna look the best over top of this and there is a full face of rare beauty. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite rare beauty product and subscribe for more content like this.